Gwen. It was a mistake for me to come Gwen, back here. Don't go. You, this is not what it looks like. You have to let me explain. <laughs> All right, explain. Teresa was coming down the stairs, and she tripped. She was falling, and I caught her. You could have come up with something more plausible if you cared. Obviously, you don't care. Gwen, you know that's not true. You're not the man I thought you were, Ethan. I don't even know who you are anymore. Go in. Gwen, don't run away! Please let me talk to you! Teresa, are you all right? Yeah, I, I just hurt my ankle. I'm so sorry. No, I hope Gwen's not too upset. It's not your fault. She just misunderstood. I have to go after her and try to explain what happened. Of course. You gonna be all right? Yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> Thank you for catching me. I feel like such a klutz. <laughs> well, <laughs> your shoe's ruined. My heel broke right off. I know. Look, I know you got that date tonight with that guy you're crazy about. Why don't you go to my sister's bedroom and find some shoes? You can borrow anything you need. Hey, that's so nice of you. There's no reason both of our evenings should be ruined. Well, I have to go find Gwen. Yeah, yeah, go. Thank you again. Explanation. You find the lovely Teresa irresistible. It's not true. You've just completely misunderstood. Gwen, you please get out of the car, take a walk with me, let me explain what happened. I hate leaving things the way they are. Please. certainly didn't take you long to get Teresa in your arms. Someone you claim you don't care about. I don't care about her. Not like that. I've told you time and again she means nothing to me. It didn't look like nothing. Gwen, you said yourself that wasn't the Ethan you knew. You're right. It wasn't. I would never do that to you. I love you. You know that. I'm beginning to wonder, Ethan. I saw the way you were looking at each other. She, she fell. I caught her. I was worried that she might have hurt herself. That's all. Oh, and I'm sure her falling was a total accident. It was. Look. You see? This is her shoe. Her heel broke right off. That's How why convenient. she fell. How convenient. Happened just when I walked back in. You can't think she did that deliberately. I don't know what to think anymore. Well, whatever you're thinking about Teresa and me, just stop it. There's nothing going on. Except that poor little Teresa fell and you were there like Prince Charming. Gwen, I would have caught her even if I knew you were coming in. She could have hurt herself really bad if she would have fallen onto the floor. Well, I guess it could have been a bad fall. Gwen, I'm sorry you got the wrong idea, but it was just an accident. Look, I know everything you're saying makes sense to a man, okay? Well, what's that mean? It means that women have a certain kind of radar when it comes to other women. And I've told you before, I think Teresa has feelings for you. Unbelievable. There's not a copy of the Herald anywhere. I'm beginning to wonder now if you have feelings for Teresa, too. Gwen, that is utterly ridiculous. Is it? Because I think I have very good grounds to be suspicious. Well, you're not being suspicious. You're being idiotic. Oh, well, thank you very much. You know, maybe I am an idiot. I'm an idiot for believing in you all these years, Ethan. Gwen, I didn't say you were an idiot. Yeah, you did. And I don't appreciate it, not one bit. Gwen, will you please believe me? I have no feelings for Teresa, and she has none for me. I've told you over and over again she's in love with someone else. Then why does she look at you the way she does? What way? The way a woman looks at a man she wants. Sweetheart, I, I don't know what you see in Teresa's eyes, but it's not what I see. She has a guy. Who? Who is this mysterious man? I don't know. She's never told me, but she was on her way to meet him tonight when her heel broke. <sighs> Gwen, please don't blame her for this. She hasn't done anything. She just got caught in the middle, and she feels terrible that you're upset. 
Oh, I'd, I would love to believe that, Ethan, but I don't. Look, you might think I'm crazy, but I know I'm not imagining things. I know there's something more to this. You still think Teresa has feelings? Yes, I do. It hurt me to see you with Teresa at the ballet, and it hurt me to hear you tell her what beautiful eyes she has, exquisite eyes. And it really hurt me when you called me Teresa. But what hurt me most of all was to see her in your arms tonight. And her fall might have been an accident, Ethan, but my intuition tells me that when she was in your arms, she was exactly where she wanted to be. Well, I don't know what else I can do to convince you you're wrong about Teresa. I don't know either. Well, what I do know is that I love you, only you. Rest of my life, and I don't want this misunderstanding to come between us. Please come back to the house. We'll finish dinner and talk. Let me make love to you. No, no, this is not the right time. Yes, it is. This is the way it should be. I can't. I, I have to think. Then come back to the house. At least we can talk. <laughs> 